guys, Bull Electrical here, and today I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review of my phone. Um, this is not exactly my phone. Uh, I have two Google Pixels uh, XLs that I bought. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them quite yet. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Just maybe, maybe um, I'll use it. I don't know, but I don't really have any use for this, so I'll just show you around my phone so that I'm recording this on a Google Pixel but I also have the app I mean not the app I also have another Google Pixel so here is the amazing camera quality on the Google Pixels that you can see um, switch to uh, this mode amazing okay um, now switch around the camera hi what is up? Um, the front camera on this exact model is not the best, um, but on this one that I, I am using is really good. Um, so yeah. Anyways, also you can see this, there's like a light there because, see when I'm recording there's actually no light on the screen because when I was uh, showing you guys in the front facing camera, there was no light, so it's just like a cool little thing that you can only see in this uh, black screen. But anyways, if you guys want to know um, why it's like this, is because it is refurbished, meaning it's supposed to be, it has, it shows signs of use, but it's way cheaper. Now, should you buy a refurbished phone, it's completely up to you, but what I am going to say, buying a refurbished phone is a pretty it's a pretty uh money saving and it's a it's a pretty good idea so yeah and as you guys could see my timer just went off um i had a timer on for something else what i really liked about the google pixels is that you can just hold it up to your face and it has the always not really always on but like semi always on and the fingerprint sensor is just lightning fast see That's amazing, okay. Alright, let me show you guys something. And it reads really quick. See? I'm not even touching it. Okay, so let's close that. That's how fast it does this. Um, and... As you can see, it has these modes. Slow motion, panorama, photosphere. Photosphere is really, really cool. And they have lens blur, AR stickers, and settings. So let's go to photosphere. Let me just show you what it is. So basically we have this huge box that my drones came in. Which I didn't show you guys, but I will make a video of that soon. I have to keep that in the dot, okay? And then connect it. Connect it, basically like making a sphere of my whole room. Um, connect that. There you go. Um... And that's basically what it is, and it basically just shows, like, a 3D VR view. They also have AR stickers on here, which is really the coolest thing I have ever seen. I mean, I have seen this before, but it's really cool that you don't have to download an app and it's built in. Okay, point it towards the floor, so it needs to just uh, get used to my floor. Um, this is my floor. Hello, Google. Meet my floor. Okay, there we go. Um, and now I can just choose to put down whatever I want from Star Wars, Stranger Things, um, Winter Sports. No, this is not, um, South Park. This is Winter Sports. What? What is? That looks to be like a burger. That looks like to be like a cake. That's like a letter, I guess, yeah. Um, there's this. Honestly, I'm so bad with Star Wars. I don't even know. This looks like a bird. <laughs> We're just gonna put the birdie down. Whoa. Okay. Can see the bird. Can interact with the bird. Can move the bird. And let's see, I want, let's say I want to put down this as well. A giant uh, stormtrooper that is clearly much bigger than the bird. He's looking at the bird right now. <laughs> Wait, is he gonna pick up the bird? What is happening? What? 
This this is just weird. <laughs> okay, now he's just minding his own business. Okay, let's put down. What? Oh, I think they speak too. Um, let's put down whoever this guy is. He doesn't have a face. Um, anyways, we can put down uh this guy. Forgot its name, but. Here is R2D2. I think that's BB8 something or something like that. I don't know. But see, you can. And once I actually just spammed everything down. It's pretty funny. And then you just got this huge army of these uh, RD, R2D2s. And you can basically put down anything. Um, and it's really cool. And they're adding more every day. So this is probably the coolest uh, feature on the Google Pixel. Um. Then they also have lens blur, which you can see. I'm gonna turn it around. Um, actually, the rear camera is not so good. So like, let's uh, focus on that um, deer park thing, deer park uh, water crate. So let's just aim it on there. Okay. Let me get the tripod set up, and the tripod wants to fall, so let me just. Here, you can see that. Um, it, it's not recognizing what you need to take a picture of. Um, that's just great. Um, okay, let me put my drone in front of it. Okay, yes, this is the drone that I bought, guys. I have a bunch of these, well, a lot more. $900 worth of them, to be exact. This is the exact same drone that I lost. Okay, so this is what we need to get in focus. We don't care about Deer Park back there. All right, that was a fail. Um, you have to take a picture and slowly raise it. Okay, let's see this. Okay, there we go. This is the lens blur and it's doing a pretty good job of not getting that crate in the thing on um, the image as you can see um, it's blurred out but then this is like what it's focusing on which is a really good um, this one failed but it sort of still did work um, and there's not much key aspects of this um, what you could do is swipe down to get the notification bar as you guys can see um, and another thing is that if you double press this you can get to the camera right away and show you that again double press of the home button gets you to the camera and also the home button I mean the power on button has this like nice little texture so you know where to put your hand and where the power button is and the screen display on this is really really nice it's super bright and it's a um, AMOLED display so it has great like literally great viewing angles um like amazing viewing angles um not much else um let's see here has on button, I mean on built uh, buttons. And today's video shout out is going to be to, let's see, in the first video, who will we find? Um, who is the first here? Okay, DP45 was not first, but he's first here. Again, another shout out to Dromus. He was first. Um, but um, DP45 was definitely he did he did a pretty good effort, and he is always on my video. So thumbs up for that. Um, good job, DP45. You win the shout out for this video because obviously I'm not gonna give it to Dromus every single time. Um, but uh, congrats, man. Um, you got the shout out. And this is basically it for my video. See you guys in the next one.